Hi there, I just wanted to share uh, an interesting trick that I learned with Excel today that uh, I've never really known how to use before and so I wanted to share it. Uh, and it has to do with conditional formatting. Now, I've used conditional formatting for many years, but the way that I've always used it is um, I've used conditional formatting using the information within the cell itself. So for example, uh, if you had a number a range of numbers such as this, you can apply conditional formatting to those cells and that'll give you some sort of useful information uh, about the values in those cells. But it's, it's formatting the cells based on the information within the cell uh, itself. And while this is sort of a, a, a toy example, um, if you have very large amounts of data using this kind of conditional formatting can be very useful to spot patterns and other things like that. But what I wanted to share today was how to do uh, conditional formatting of cells using information from other nearby cells. That's something I didn't know how to do uh, until I learned it just recently. And so uh, I mocked up an example here where I think I can show this pretty clearly. So um, imagine you have something like a user form like this where you are collecting information from someone and it's a scenario where you either need them to uh, enter one piece of information or another in piece of information but not both let's say you know oftentimes you'll be filling out something online and they say you can either enter the city and state or the zip code because both pieces of information basically give you the same thing but you don't need to enter both of them. So in this first, uh, in this first data field, I have um, the header here stating that you need to select whether you're gonna use option A or option B as your input. And so for each of these, you can say either option A or option B. <clears throat> and what I wanna have happen is if I select option A, then I want option B to gray out, giving the user some feedback that they don't need to enter option B if they enter option A. And vice versa, if someone enters option B, then I want option A to gray out and uh, letting them know that they don't need to enter both option A and option B. So how do you get something like this to work? Um, well, the way you do this is still using conditional formatting what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to highlight this range here. I'm going to select conditional formatting. And here we're going to use a rule, a new rule. And the rule that we want to use is use a formula to determine which cells to format. And so in this case I'm going to say equals and um, I'm going to be formatting based on the information in, um, in this field. Now when I select this, it gives me the, um, the dollar signs here indicating that it would, um, it would only look at cell A2 for all of my rows, but I don't want that. I want a, what's called more of a relative reference. And so if I select uh, F4, it'll get me to just A2 without the dollar signs. That means that every cell in uh, column B will be looking at the cell in column A to its left. And so it's, it'll be looking relatively and not in an absolute manner. So I say equals A2 equals, so if it, uh, so if it equals option B, then I want option A to gray out. And so let's say I just want to fill it with a gray color like this. And I'll say OK. And I'll say OK. Now, you'll see nothing happened, and that's because I have option A selected in all of my rows. If I went ahead and selected option B, then you would see that option A is grayed out, letting my user know that they only need to input option B. And you'll see that it happens row by row in a relative sense, just how I wanted. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now, um, Let's do the same thing with our option B column. So I'll do the same thing. I'll highlight this conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. Now I'm gonna say equals A2. I'm again gonna take the dollar signs off to make it relative. Now I'm gonna say if it equals 
option A, then I want this to gray out. So I'll format, we'll use the same color, OK. OK, so now you'll see that when someone selects option A, it grays out option B. And so now, um, since I formatted all the way down to uh, row 10 in this case, if I, for every time I select one of these options, it will appropriately gray out the correct cell. So I thought this is kind of neat. Uh, I think I'll be using this for uh, various real projects that I'm working on, but uh, hope I, f I hope you find it useful too. Um, thanks for watching.